on myself to push and never stop. I've been stressed out watching both these hands. What's up guys? Today we have the top five CR7 Juventus moves for you and we can only do them in our authentic, real CR7 boots provided by Football Emotion. We'll have more on that later, but for now, let's get going. Guys, like we said, we've partnered up with Football in Motion for today's video, and they have an insane amount of boots and gear that you can choose from. They ship all around the world, so make sure to check out their website where you can even match boots with some of your favorite football stars. And don't forget to check them out on YouTube. Tienen canales en español e anche en italiano. Allora guardate qui sotto in the description box. Click the link and enjoy. Now let's hit up some moves. All right, guys, so Ronaldo obviously finds himself on the wings a lot. And in order to do this move, what you really want to do is make sure that when you're croifing, the ball doesn't come up too close to you. You really got to make the defender think that you're going to do this here. Now, he feels as if all he's got to do is come back in and close you off. You pull another croif and now you're gone, all right? So always think, even if, if I was crossing here and going this way, there, double croif, all right? In like this, out like that again. That's it. Another move that is very useful on the wings and some place that Ronaldo finds himself in that he loves to do is a simple inside the foot touch to step over, okay? Ronaldo keeps his body straight up. He likes to do things like that and then explode. He doesn't try to beat you just off the move alone. He uses his speed and pace and power to get by you. So this move, like that, all right? Really focus on getting this little touch, just enough to make them think you're going this way, to throw it back that so way. Let me show you three different variations. Obviously, here's the first one, normal, and you're out. Next, of course, we're gonna cut back the other way. So, go like this, and now we're gonna chop in and go there. Next, of course, is to add a little bit of flash, a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of Ronaldo. Step in, stop, and pass out. So with this move, the step over chop, what you've got to know is that you have to be moving at an angle. If you try to do a step over and then chop, you're cutting into yourself, okay? You're destroying the move. In order to do this, think as if you were dribbling out to this angle, all right? If I'm dribbling out to this angle, as I go this way, the defender moves with me here. As he's coming, I maybe do a little step over and cut behind him. Now I'm in on my left foot and I can take the shot. Move, it's very important that you understand what you've got here is a move that's going to be able to protect the ball. So we break it down into two, into two specific parts. First one's our drag. Instead of dragging it in front of us, where it might be a little bit more exposed, which is something that Cristiano does, but in this move specifically, we have the advantage of being able to drag the ball behind us. So we take our step in, we let the ball go behind us. There is a distance between the defender and the ball and that's always beneficial. So that's the first step. There. Now once we're here, first step over is with this foot. Next we can go here, all right? So what you've done is set yourself up to get a, a nice, crisp, double step over combo in that'll look a little bit more like this. Boom, all right? And we'll slow that down for you guys so you can see it. put a defender in so you guys can understand it a little bit more. But when you take that step, there, there. So, and On this last one, we can combine a lot of what we learned. So we of course have the Cruyff, we of course have the step over, all of those we can combine with this one here at the end, which is a simple drag and stop. Ronaldo loves to do these things like that. Body up, body straight. That's just how he does it. Not my style, maybe not your style, but if it is, if you stand a little bit more straight up, you can take something like this and incorporate it into your game, okay? So maybe we're out here like this, little step over, drag, 
stop. The easiest way to get this is to break it down. Always break the moves down in order to learn them. First, there's a step over. All right, once you get that step over, hop and stop the ball. All right, so nothing more. Same thing this way and hop and stop. For real guys, all you gotta do, drag there. Once you're here, whole, the whole world opens up again. So you might've done a step over there. You start again. Ronaldo does all his moves right here like this. And then when he's ready, it's like that. Then you've got the Cruyff. Now they think it's coming in back this way. Double Cruyff again, and you're out, all right? Boom. All right, guys, that's the vid. Make sure to train like crazy so you can use these moves in the game. And a big shout out and big thanks to Football Emotion. If you want to grab these shoes and much more, click the links down below. You can check all that out. Go ahead and subscribe to Football Emotion. Of course, subscribe to us. Like this video, comment down below. Definitely, definitely subscribe. We will see you guys later. Peace. Do re mi fa sol la hit is go do re mi control all them boys from Kansas City where they know we got them tricks we get it how we live and know we all about them kicks